I'm going to show you how to get your dog to stop jumping up, but it's really important that you understand that you train the dog to jump up or peripheral people train the dog to jump up and you didn't respond appropriately. So we'll go over that too. But remember that when dogs are excited, that's when they screw up. They bark, lunge, bite, or just don't listen. So you have somebody coming in the door, they're excited, and then the person that's coming in the front door is making eye contact with the dog, causing more excitement, and then the dog jumps up, and the worst thing is like, they'll start petting the dog. No, I love dogs. I've seen that before. I've seen that before. It's a, it's a terrible thing to have to like tell the person, you know, no, you might like dogs, but you don't like them enough because you're, you're training the dog to jump on people. So know that if, if you're petting the dog when it has its paws on you, it's gonna jump. When you go get your puppy, don't put it in your lap. Don't put it on the couch. Don't do that. And if it's an eight week old puppy and it's jumping up on you, putting its paws on you, it's gonna do it when it's eight, eight months old and it'll do it when it's eight years old. You're, you're training it, you're influencing it at a very early age. Other thing that causes this is dogs on furniture, giving people food, any of those things that create status issues for the dog, ma making the dog sort of seem like it's an equal is gonna you know, create those kind of issues where the dog will jump up on someone. Watch these people coming in your door Make sure the dog is away from the door in the down position or sitting or something under control. And if you, you know people are coming over, put a leash on the dog too. That might be helpful. Like if, if the dog's going for the person's gonna jump, jump on the person, you can gain control by stepping on the leash or picking the leash up or just having, having the dog sitting and sit while the person comes in. That way you have control. But just to let the dog be roaming around your house while somebody's coming over, getting excited when they hear the doorbell ring, plan on the dog jumping on someone and plan on the person that it's jumping on being an idiot and petting the dog and giving the dog attention. Now, if a dog starts, is, if a dog's trying to jump on you, one thing that you can do is knee it. Say no. That's it, no. Don't jump on me, dog. So knee it, you're, you're, you're not gonna hurt the dog. I mean, don't, don't just wail on it. Just knee it, pop, pop your knee into its chest. No, sit, good boy. Now the other, other thing that you could do, if your dog's already doing this, you have to train it not to. So you encourage the dog to jump up on you by, you know, like this, like, come on, come on. And I'll, I'll do it in a second. He might not do it with me because I got on him yesterday about this, but this is how you do it. You encourage the dog to jump on you, and when it comes up, you grab its paws, you put some pressure on the paws, and step back a little bit, and then chuck the dog to the side by saying no. They'll learn, they'll learn one or two times, and you might be saying to yourself, well, that's fucking with the dog. It'd be fucking with the human, this is a dog. You need to teach it not to jump on somebody. You're not gonna do that by giving it a, a treat. This nonsense of training your dog with treats and everything and that you're not gonna use a neg negative negativity is just absurd. The dog's already jumping on people. So here, bear, sit. So I'm gonna encourage him up. If, I, if, if he does, if he goes up, I gotta grab his, his paws, shuck him to the side while I say no. Let's see if he does, he might not do it. But understand, you grab the paws, Step back just a little bit with a little pressure on the paws while you're stepping back and then no. That's it. You try that two or three times, the dog stops doing it. But the trick is you have to do this over a period of time. So say for the whole month, every now and then, every few days, you encourage a dog to jump up on you. And if they don't jump up on you, good boy. Let's see if we'll do it. Bear. Bear. He ain't no dummy. He learns quick. Good boy, bear. Good boy, heel. Let's try it again. Bear. He's learning. He's learning, heel. Do it, and I guarantee you, you get the dog's paws and make them uncomfortable like that. A little pressure on the paws. 
Walk back just a little bit, chuck them to the side. No, do it, do it all real fast. You try this again, they don't wanna do it. They stop doing it. The, the trick really is, is to go over this several times, keep going over it, and put your dog in these situations where, you know, call your friend and say, come on over, ring the doorbell, you know, you're setting the dog up, but you're setting the dog up to get success because if the dog does jump, you're gonna correct the dog. And then the person leaves, say, say, say it wasn't a total success, have the person go and come back 10 minutes later, try it again and see if the dog jumps on them that time. And then maybe you try that again, hey, listen, thanks for the help. Could you come over in like three weeks, we'll try it again. Hey, bear, here, heal. You must keep going over this. Now, I'm gonna be going, hey, bear, knock it off. I'm gonna be going over this, and then when he goes, goes back home, it's gonna be important that his mom steps up to the plate, sets the dog up, meaning calls her friend, come on over, let's have coffee, has Bear sitting off at a distance, answers the door. Bear sees that it's gonna be different from now on. If Bear's running around, getting excited with the, the doorbell, he's sure as hell gonna jump gonna jump on whoever's coming over and it's a safety issue for the dog because if the dog jumps on the wrong person he can hurt them I mean, jumps on an elderly person a kid and dogs that are doing this that are lunging out like that they lunge and then they bite don't let your dog do that your dog lives in a human world okay this is a human world it's not empire of the dogs so they must learn to conform to standards that are appropriate. Having a dog jumping up on human beings is the worst thing. And keep this in mind. If you take your dog to the dog run and your dog's jumping up on other dogs, it's gonna fight. So anytime you see the dog coming up with its legs and they're doing that reindeer game where they're, they're wrestling around, play fighting, they're gonna fight. Your dog, that's the same body language as a fight. It's like a human that trains doing MMA or judo or boxing. You train and then you fight. That's what dogs do at dog runs. It's all four on the floor. Your dog does not have to be going up on its back legs unless it's catching a Frisbee. Now, if it's already doing that, evict the problem. Like I said, encourage the dog to come up and keep doing that. And the dog will keep one time, one time with him and he's picked up, no, I'm not supposed to jump on him. One time. But you have to do it. If, you, if you're not gonna do it, it's not gonna get done. Barry! Bear! Come on, buddy! Bear! He won't do it. That's good. So I'll keep doing this, you know, while, while he's here. Periodically, I'll encourage him to try and jump up. If at some point, say he's out here with another dog and they're running around and he's real excited that's when he jumped on me he was super excited he was running around and he jumped up real quick instantly no and i went off on him with a pressure wave i didn't get to grab the paws but a real pressure wave no and he knew what i meant if you're just saying no 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 and the dog's still doing it you're not using a high enough pressure bear's coming along bear's coming along with hold he's going to be a great retriever seriously Hold. Good boy, hold. And he, he's, he's getting dropped too. He's doing drop a lot better. Bear, drop. See, he lets me take it out of his mouth. I roll it out of his mouth. We go over this. The dog's gonna be great. Well, what I need him to do is to start going for it, right? So if I hold it out here and say hold, he needs to go for it. And then I'll start getting the object closer to the ground. And then I'll, no, I'll tell him hold and then he'll be picking up the item off the ground, the object off the ground. It takes time. This is the longest thing, you know, the why, why dogs here doing a board and train. This, this takes the longest, is doing hold, drop, and retrieving. He's, he's gonna get it as soon as I saw him do it. He already, you know, will go get it and do like a bad retrieve. So I already knew it, he'll do a good retrieve. He's into it. Bear, hold. No, hold. Good boy, hold. Drop. Good, nice drop, dude. Good. 
Bear, hold. No, hold. See, he's, he's reluctantly still, he's opening his mouth, but he's opening it, not using a lot of pressure. Some drop, sometimes it'll just be like, instead of using pressure on the teeth, I'm just putting my hand on his muzzle and, he's, uh, and they start opening it. Hold, hold, good boy, hold. Hold, drop, good. Vast improvement, brother. I'm using an e-collar by e-collar technologies. It's a fantastic collar. He's on eight. He's on level eight. It goes to a hundred. Eight is lower than a human can feel it. This collar, a human starts feeling about 15 or 20. These are, if, if you use the products right, if you, listen, all dog training tools can be pr used properly or improperly. Food is one of the most abused dog training tools there is. It's absurd. It's absurd. And then they go around talking about, this is lower than a human can feel it. It's unrealistic to be thinking that you're not going to say no to the dog. Okay? If you're dealing with somebody that's purely positive, you're getting ripped off. You are. You're getting ripped off and your dog is in danger being trained like that. It's ridiculous. They need to it. They need to know boundaries. They need to know their place in our society. And like I said, this is a human society. It's not a dog society. If Bear was out in the woods, there would be no problems. If he was living with other dogs, there'd be no problems. A bear! Check it out! A bear! Everyone, a bear! I'm from the south. Double foot down to Georgia. Fucking bear in the southern twang of his. He never stops with that shit. It's unbelievable. He doesn't like Roy Moore, though. He said Roy Moore's an idiot. He's smart. No, you know, he's from Alabama. He's not an idiot. He told me that that's where NASA is, Alabama. He's right. I checked.